Okay, so I want to talk about the problem with Dragon's Dogma. Right, uh, you see, I'm going to run back to a previous location really quick to explain this. But the, 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 the problem with Dragon's Dogma is very simple. The game simply does not do anything that the video games are supposed to do. I'm going to explain it right now. So, you see how I have three abilities here, right? And, and there's three abilities here. This game doesn't let you choose which weapon you have abilities for, right? It's either or weapon. And what I mean is you can only have three of the archer abilities, you can only have three of the dagger abilities. This would not be a bad thing on its own if the abilities were all a little more complicated. But all of the abilities are like, I set down this, enemies get stunned, I do this, enemies get attacked and heal me. So you basically have the exact same uh, animation, two attacks that look exactly the fucking same, and then your other attack does the exact same fucking animation, except you're in the air this time. Like, they were so fucking lazy when designing this game, like, look at, look at every, every arrow ability. All, all you do is you change the color of whatever the aura is, you see, now it's, now it's gray. Now it's orange. Right, like, they were so fucking lazy with how they designed this game. And you look at each weapon, right? All you get is three abilities because fucking the angle and the high angle, all of the angles are going to be the exact same thing except they get a little stronger. All of the fragile things are going to be the exact same thing except they get a little stronger. All of the Levin, right? Like, all of these follow the exact same order. And then there are abilities that, like, invoke a magical fog that curses foes who enter it. The curse in this game does absolutely fucking nothing, so you have a useless ass ability. The long-lasting whip thing, it's it looks cool, but it's completely fucking useless. It drains all your fucking stamina, because they were so lazy they made a stamina bar and a health bar instead of a stamina bar, a health bar, and a magic bar, and they wanted you to play this game for thousands of hours. Like, it's, it's hella shit that all it would have taken for them to balance is to make the fucking bar, right? The mana bar. And then make doing these instead of taking stamina take mana like there's like it's so brain that they were like oh maybe having a mana bar is too complicated for players so like, it's it's so stupid your stamina bar takes up your stamina for every single ability you do no matter what type of ability it is whether it's a melee ability whether it's like, every type of ability uses your stamina so you end up with a very fucked situation on your hands, because you can't do anything. And all of your abilities are how you do damage. Advanced form of Santiago. Like, look at this. I'm sitting here confused at what the fuck this is. But this is all the exact same thing. One makes you jump in the air and do a small explosion, one makes you jump in the air and do a big explosion. It would be nice if they at least came up with more fucking abilities. 
but here's the thing, like, everything is just a fucking explosion when it comes to the fire shit. Like, none of the fire shit is really anything unique or interesting. But the worst thing about this game is that every aspect of this game isn't useful in some way. Like, everything isn't useful. Like, all of these little passive abilities, there's some of them that are like, bro, why would this even be a passive ability? Like, you get certain stats, but only at night. But all of the fucking enemies and shit only come out in the daytime. You know what I mean? And then at night, you have fucking zombies everywhere. Like, it's really dumb that some things only work at night. Because then it becomes, well, let me put this up so I can have more stamina. And then you do it, you play with it, and having more stamina at night is just like having the same amount of stamina in the daytime. Because they only give you like 20 to 30 extra stamina, and every fucking ability costs like 50 to 100 fucking stamina to fucking use. Like, it's just so stupid how they decided to design the fucking game. It's so brain dead. Like, look at this right here. This final ability is a pretty useful ability, right? But look at this, the enemies can still run from you even though they have funnel because it's fucking, the funnel is on the fucking enemy. They just killed it, but the enemy can still run from you and it drags the other enemies with them. It actually looks kind of fucking funny, but it's stupid because it's like, bro, all they would have had to have done was make that shit shackle small enemies to the ground or some shit. Like, they, they just did not really develop any of their fucking ideas in this game. And the thing is that they didn't have to, like, make up these ideas. A lot of this shit in this game already exists. So they use shittier versions of ideas and shit that already exist. Like, it's just really fucking stupid. But I'm going to show you why mages are the only useful fucking uh, character in the game. And that's the main reason I'm using the mage right now, because every other class doesn't have enough fucking abilities. And when you're playing with a mage, the mage just does a disproportionate amount of damage on every fucking ability for no fucking reason. Like, everything I do is going to deal good amounts of damage to this thing, not just to survive. Look at that huge fucking damage. And then the other thing about this is that fucking, uh, the mage's fucking arrows automatically lock on. Like, the mage is the only fucking class with automatic lock abilities, like, it's ridiculous. Oh, shit. Here goes that monster hunter type shit when the fucking enemies fight each other, but the fucking, they're going to hunt me. I've never seen this, actually. This is a unique thing. I have no idea where the fucking dog thing came from.
Hopefully he can get killed before he fucking turns to stone.
It really fucking sucks like I got petrified. That's some bullshit. So yeah, I died from literal bullshit. As you can see, we uh, got the fucking enemy half health from just fucking poking it with magic. But when you're playing all the other fucking characters, you don't have that option of just poking and shit. Every other character takes too fucking long to do their abilities or some something that just makes every other character not as viable. But I'm going to fucking uh change my shit. Just so I can really fucking get into how fucking stupid some shit is. Because it is clear that I could fucking kill the fucking uh, whatever with this fucking uh, class, right? It's very clear that it's possible. But the other classes, I'm just gonna show like how fucking horrible it is. You, you can't do much shit. Look at the rabbit running, right? And it groups up all the rabbits with it when you do this ability. <laughs> you see that? This is fucking stupid. So I'm going to change my class and then come back in here and attempt that big enemy. Oh, and you can't fucking roll with every class, you can't fucking, like, there is no mobility with every class, so this just becomes, like, the most useful fucking shit in the game.
So I'm going to use the only class that has a slight bit of air combat. I don't know why in this fucking game they decided to just not complete any of the fucking classes. It's actually frustrating. Because it would have been cool if the fucking dagger class is the class that can move quick and shit. And then the fucking, you know, the sword class is the class that has like air combat and shit. And then the mages are the fucking spell class. Like that, that shit would have been cool. But instead they just didn't complete jack shit. Like no classes, only the magic archer. Is a, is a finished class in this fucking game. It's fucking ridiculous, actually. So, I believe it is the Mystic Knight. That is a slight, slight... It's not even worth calling it air comment. It's slight, slight fucking air comment. It's like fucking less than 1% air comment. You just jump in the air and you do an attack. Oh, and since you only have two fucking inventory slots for every fucking armor and every fucking thing, like, you have a whole bunch of armor you'll just never fucking use, which is pretty lame. As you can see, every fucking show ability is some type of fucking counter, but they all do the exact same fucking thing. It just turns your fucking shield into something. You see this right here? It says fucking cannot enable, cannot enable, what the fuck, actually. So certain weapons only have three abilities. Like, it's really retarded how they designed the fucking, like, holy shit, it's actually retarded.
So as you can see, there's no roll, there's no dash, fucking anything. You just have jump. And that's the slight fucking air comment. Very fucking slight. You can knock enemy up, right, and then hit them. You knock them up, then you hit them. Like, it's, oh god, please don't be stuck down here. Okay, holy shit. Hey, bro, the fucking bitch came with me. Oh my god. And then this right here. I use these together. And it makes shit that automatically hits whenever it gets hit. But it's fucking mostly useless against this big ass fucking enemy that I'm about to fight. Same thing with this fucking shield, it's mostly useless. Right, like this looks cool, but this doesn't fucking do anything. It barely, it doesn't even block fucking projectiles. Like it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's, like nothing in this fucking game is actually developed. Holy shit! And then all the other shields abilities don't look as cool. Look at that. This looks fucking lame as fuck. It has a fucking double push, but it fucking, it doesn't do anything nice. I think extending this, all it does is make this shit last longer. And one other thing that's annoying as fuck is fucking air attacks don't like negate your fall damage and shit is pretty lame. You see that? It's fucking retarded. So if you do an attack from too high, you're just gonna fucking die. But it's weird because you can just jump off of high monsters, it's fucking stupid. Like, they, they literally didn't finish anything that they designed in this fucking game. And people always use the excuse of like, oh well maybe they were rushed, but the reality is all of these abilities, all of this shit exists. They didn't have to make this shit up, all of this shit exists. So the fact that they fucking couldn't completely design this shit just means that they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Because the functionality of everything in this game is fucking stupid. Except for the previous class that I was using, it's the only class where you play it and it feels like it's a complete fucking setup. It would have been cool if they had some fucking shield charge abilities and shit on this class. I think the other class has the the warrior class 
has shield charge, but I didn't fucking upgrade the warrior class at all. So I don't know any of the abilities on that class. I just I just never used it. It would be nice if you could at least use this fucking sky. What is this called? Sky rapture fucking bullshit twice or three times in the fucking air. Like that would be nice. You see how it just does no damage. Like, as you can see, it's almost completely impossible to really get anything fucking done with this class, because everything you, every ability you do makes you have to stand still. Every fucking, like, every ability doesn't move anywhere. It's like, it's retarded. Every ability in the game is an ability that builds off of another ability, so... Instead of just having the shit able to be charged up and have some type of power scaling in the fucking game, they decided to make three and four of every fucking ability. Like, it's, it's, like uh, there's so much shit they did in this game that was actually fucking retarded. I don't even want to attempt to try and fight it again with this because I know I'm going to fucking die. That was a complete waste of time. Like I was just demonstrating how fucking stupid the the class is and all of its abilities all together. And it's really stupid that these two abilities have to be used together to really be used effectively. Because you only get fucking three abilities in the fucking game.
So as you can see, it can kill normal enemies like this, right? But that took a while. With the other classes, you just could shoot, you could just fucking shoot shit at it. You know what I mean? Like all of that is fucking like that's lame. It's it's like you don't even use the shield at all in that fight. Like it's it's just fucking like this game's designed so poorly. Because this game could have been fast paced cool as fuck. Like imagine if there was a fucking shield bash ability on everything. You just press the fucking shield. Like it's it's just tons of fucking shit they could have done. They didn't do any of it. Oh, and this is also a way to fucking level your character very quickly. Bro just got juggled. I wish they had juggling in this game. It would have been really cool. So as you can see, you have to fucking regenerate your goddamn stamina, you have to fucking, like, it's so stupid how they designed this fucking game. It's like after Dark Souls came out, the fucking Dark Souls ruined every fucking game. Because I, I think that they might not have done this stupid choice if Dark Souls didn't exist. Not that I hate Dark Souls or anything like that. But I wish fucking game developers didn't just copy fucking each other. Like, oh my god. Hey guys, well, let's get rid of our energy bars and fucking give you a stamina bar. Like, oh my fucking god, bro. Retarded ass developers. So now I'm going to try out the fucking uh, warrior shit, like the archer shit, all of the archer shit can kill the fucking boss to a degree, but the fucking magic archer is the best fucking one. And I haven't used the warrior yet, because I just fucking, I, I, I don't feel like it, like the warrior type shit in games has been something that fucking like it just they're never good so I just assume that is not good at all in this game Also, the fucking bag system in this game, holy shit, the bag in this game is fucking terrible. You can't hold anything through the entire fucking game. You barely have anything you can fucking hold.
if this game had fucking the ability to actually use your fucking uh, other like you only get three abilities right so if you had the ability to use your other three abilities in this fucking game then it would be a little bit better but I can only use three abilities so like using shit like this perform a punnel strike drives the dabber's hilt into target though limited in range it is capable of causing enough even powerful enemies to reel so basically it's a stagger move but there's no fucking point of using it because I need damage right Right, like you need damage and mobility, so there's no point. There's no point of fucking using certain shit in this game. Bro, look at that. This item is only good on the fucking mages. Like, only the eight mages and shit get good items. Holy shit, man. Like, nothing is good on the fucking... <laughs> Nothing's good on the fucking other classes. Like, look at how... Look at that. 38, fucking 65, and everything else is shitty. And this is unupgraded. In this game, you can't just equip your fucking equipment. You have to do sh bullshit like this. It's so fucking annoying.
so you let your character sleep, you can get a quick fucking heal without wasting items. And you see this? I have a whole three abilities I can no longer use. It's fucking retarded. Like, who came up with this, bro? Actually, a moron. So, as you can see, pretty useless fucking abilities against some shit that's fucking flying in the air. Pretty useless fucking abilities. And then your uh, stamina has to reload just as long. The reason you play this class is because it does the strongest auto attack damage. I mean the strongest basic attack damage. Not You don't play this class because it's fucking abilities. This shit does 600 fucking damage on basic attacks. It would be nice if they at least made it so this character doesn't use the most fucking stamina as well. It's like they wanted to do everything in their power to make this shit useless. And what's annoying is like stuff like that, how I couldn't fall off the edge because you grabbed the edge. I wish other games fucking worked like that. Holy shit. So many games make their fucking running off the edge and grabbing the edge and all this shit retarded. It would be so fucking easy to make a better game than this, holy shit. Give characters actual fucking mobility, or at least fucking don't make them take stamina for running. Like, you see how fucking long it's taking me to get back to this fucking area? This is why you don't use this fucking class. The other classes, you could fucking rationalize thinking that it doesn't take a long time. But with this one, you fucking can't. It takes forever.
you see what's going on here? Like, I can't fucking move anymore. I haven't had a fucking weighted... What is this weighted debuff? I haven't had fucking being weighted on any fucking other fucking class. Oh my fucking god. I'm getting fucking new debuffs, so I, I'm assuming that this debuff only fucking works with the fucking warrior, because I haven't seen it on any other fucking class. And this is like, I've played this game months like this is months and months ago i've played this too and now i get a deal of the one time i try to shoot with the fucking warrior class like oh my god so the fucking warrior class has debuffs that only apply to them or i'm just super fucking unlucky And then yeah, I keep getting fucking hit by this fucking bullshit, this fucking gas, even when I'm not in the fucking location. Like, how did me and my party member get hit by the gas, but only one of us was actually in the fucking gas? Like, it makes no goddamn sense. So, you can see why... The only real class in the fucking game is the, uh... Is the fucking whatever you fucking call it. The only real class in the game is the fucking magic archer. I'm going to retry this, see what happens, see if I can fucking not get that stupid fucking debuff that made me unable to fucking jump. The only fucking thing this fucking class can do is do jump attacks. So it's fucking it's ridiculous that they would fucking make you get a fucking weighted. Oh my god, bro. They like, actually retarded. Like, this game is just so stupid. So as you can see, this is literally the worst fucking class to be using for this bullshit.
That has to be the dumbest debuff I've ever seen in a fucking game. You just get slowed, goddamn. Alright, so I don't even want to fucking play with that shit again. That was so absolutely fucking terrible. They should have made it so you could fucking toss your fucking sword or some shit. Toss your fucking weapon, like... I just don't understand what game developers be fucking thinking when they design games, holy shit. There's one class that lets you fucking, uh... Put down the ropes onto the enemy. Okay, so this is the ensnare thing. Like, every class only has three useful abilities. And it's actually kind of ridiculous. This right here basically turns your fucking bow into a shotgun. Or fucking burst assault rifle or some bullshit like that. This just lets you rain arrows down. But every fucking class is better than the fucking... Oh my god, every class is better than the fucking... Whatever the fuck the name of that last bullshit was, the warrior, I don't fucking remember. It's just so fucking useless.
I think this ability also negates fall damage. No, it doesn't. <laughs> So I'm going to demonstrate this fucking class is simply better, like every dagger is the only actual useful fucking thing in this game. Like it's fucking ridiculous.
So as you can see, you can actually beat the fucking enemy with this fucking glass right here. Because of the simple fact that this fucking enemy, I mean this fucking class, has fucking dodging, right, everything you fucking need, and you don't have to fucking stand still like every other fucking, uh, class, like it's ridiculous that they would actually design the game this way. So I've never even, I've never even been to this location. I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to be going, actually. It looks kind of cool. So this is what you need empty flasks for. Sucks that we had to lose a teammate to get here. You know, I wish fucking more games were developed in a way where like your teammates can actually die because they got their ass beat. Not your teammates die because you fucking suck. Normally your team simply doesn't die because the game is so fucking easy. Holy shit. You see how fucking weighted this shit is? God damn, you can't... Like, you have to fucking put these items into your fucking teammates inventory. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, this is the same shop guy. This guy is fucking useless. I have so many re- like in this game you basically just get infinite fucking resources and abilities and shit because fucking like, unless you're ass you're going to just keep killing shit the game's really fucking easy to kill shit like you literally have to be ass to fucking not get through this game Literally, you had to be ass. There's no way to just be so bad that you can't get through all the enemies and shit. I mean, unless you're stupid and you just fucking... Don't realize that the archer is the only fucking class in the game. And you just keep trying to make other bullshit work. Where 
to the beasts. We're cut off from. What if there were some find It's actually kind of weird as fuck that there's two places you fucking do a shop in this game. In this fucking location. Hopefully there's something useful to buy from this bitch. Fuck, he doesn't have anything useful. He's the same generic bullshit in every other shop. The annoying thing about these fucking item boxes is that it's all RNG loot. Like these daggers, I got them from an item box. But sometimes if you go to the item box before you have these daggers, there's not going to be daggers. So you have to fucking repeatedly respawn and go back to item boxes to ensure that you fucking get something useful. As you can see, it's not worth beating that big fucking enemy that you have to kill. Because this is all the bullshit you get. Like, there's one fucking RNG item in the fucking place. There's a bunch of fucking bombs on the fucking table. Any more bombs? You can get... I guess infinite fucking bombs. Nope, not the infinite bombs. That shit runs out. So it's just a box full of bombs, like... It's really not, <laughs> it's really not worth coming to this fucking enemy. The missions he gives you, you can get from other places, like it's really stupid. This well here is really the only useful reason to come down here. Oh, and the fact, the fact that there are all these crates down here. But other than infinite potions and those crates, there's no real reason to come here. And now I have to see what's in the other locations. I always let them open it because there's always a better item when they fucking open it. Whenever I open it, it's just bullshit like I eat grass and shit. Like, look what happens when I open it. Fucking, just some fucking pants. Holy shit.
Hopefully there's not a big ass boss here because we fucking we don't have our other teammate. This is lame as fuck. Wait, what the fuck? What's over there? Holy shit, I don't wanna fucking I don't feel like fighting something huge right now. I wanna see what the fuck these are. So the enemies down here aren't too fucking bad. That was fucking actually pretty easy. It's just that that bitch can blind you.
So as you can see, this enemy needs a bunch of fucking magic to beat. But back to what I was talking about before. The fucking... The way these abilities are set up. This class can't really fucking fight an enemy like this. It can fight the big guy because he's weak to fucking electricity, the big fucking chimera thing, but it can't fight smaller shit, like it's just... The games develop so fucking horrible, because all of the mage classes, all the archer classes, all this shit... They all feel the same, they all feel like the exact same fucking class, like it's just stupid. It's so dumb how they decided to develop this game. Like, the way this character is designed, this character gets to feel like there's no fucking stem on the bar. But the other characters, you can all tell that there's fucking stamina and it's fucking hell of annoying. I'm going to finally try out the warrior class. It's because I have a flame sword and I want to use the flame sword. Oh, it's the fighter, not the warrior.
there is aught I can do, say it. Okay, so it's already seeming a little good. Fucking Skyward Slash. You get a fucking shield strike, a Sable attack, it unleashes a barrage of strikes using the shield. So basically just start punching bitches with the shield. Interesting. Alright. Uh, Alright, it's not as interesting as I thought that was going to be, that was a pretty lame attack. At least that doesn't take any fucking stamina. Okay, so these attacks not that bad actually. I'm gonna see if I can fucking kill shit. So nothing has respawned yet. So, so far this and the fucking archer is the only fucking class with real fucking skill tree and shit. Because fucking the other abilities with the shield, the other classes with the shield, if it had this shit. If it had this shit right here, it would automatically make their fucking enhanced shield more fucking useful. But they don't, so it's just fucking stupid. But I really don't feel like using the warrior, like, I feel like those attacks are okay, like, and, and I'm, I can be fucking okay with knowing that the, the, the attacks are just okay, they're fucking, they're not great, they're just 
Yeah, they're meh. They're, ugh, they're you know what I mean. Like, I just doubt that there's anything unique about the warrior. Because everything else just doesn't have anything unique about them. And I doubt that there's any... I doubt that there's very much uniqueness from using these fucking classes with the shield for, to using that class with the shield. There is all I can do for now, my friend. Okay, so I don't know how to get back to the normal fucking map.
now my course is unchanged. Sir, I would take you there now. Linger in the water over long. So as you can see, normal enemies become a complete fucking joke with this uh, class.
I don't understand why the fucking counterattack thing does that animation so goddamn long. Maybe it fucking stun locks enemies and it's meant to be dramatic. It doesn't really stun lock him. Having mana in this game would have been a lot better than fucking making everything be your stamina. Then you could have fucking upgraded your mana bar and it felt like you had a little bit of achievement and entertainment added to the fucking game. The worst part is that you can't even upgrade this fucking stamina bar. You can fucking buy gear that gives you extra stamina, but then she's useless. How am I taking like no damage from these arrows? It's kind of funny they can even attack themselves with the fucking, uh, whatever that is shit's called.
but like you can see how fucking easy the game is as well. Like it doesn't really get harder than it is. The fact that you can get one shot is the only thing that adds any difficulty to the game, but getting one shot is not difficulty. I want to see what it's like to fucking run around here at night just when I'm out here. It's annoying that all the heals are so fucking minuscule. From the fucking fruit and shit that you eat. One thing I do like is how it's kind of actually, uh, it could be considered scary to run around at night. Like, I didn't even realize there was something walking at me until I saw the fucking eyes and shit like that. I just dodge it with that much fucking like, savage. It would've been cool as shit if they had like poison weapons and all these different ways of crafting and shit in this game. Because 
there's tons of fucking ways to make good crafting systems and exploration and all this shit. Like, they made all the fucking locations. They didn't make anything to fucking actually do. Like, it's so fucking stupid how game developers think. Like, oh my god. Like, is it bullshit like that where you just completely get one shot? There's no difficulty to the game. You can just be one shot. So, you know what I mean? Like, this game is actually so bad. I should have saved it, but I was pretty sure I wasn't going to die because, like, fucking. Did you see how much damage the shit was doing to the fucking boss? It, it makes no sense that I died, actually. I broke his fucking tail off, I had his fucking face busted up, and everything. But that's the end of this recording. I'm going to uh, do other things. Holy shit, this is bright. What the fuck? I just didn't do this last time I walked out here. Maybe I just didn't notice. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just when you're walking up the edge of that little fucking shit.